Good morning dear children. How are you all? Today we are going to study adjectives. As you know, already we have studied noun, pronoun and now it is the adjective that we are going to start. So, enjoy the lesson and learn. So children, welcome to the class. And what are we going to learn today? Adjective. Yes. What is adjective? Dear children, adjective tells us more about noun or pronoun. It qualifies noun or pronoun. It explains us about how the noun is. For example, it may tell you about the color like I have a red box. It may tell you about the sound. It makes a loud, loud sound. It may tell you about the feeling. I feel very happy to watch movie. It can tell you about size. The boy is tall. The girl is short. You know. It can tell you about the behavior. He is a very naughty boy. So what he is telling uh, about the boy that it is a that he is a naughty boy. It can tell you about the numbers also amount also that there are many boys in the class or there are five pens in my pencil box and so on so you get an idea about adjective let's study more examples of adjective like beautiful heavy smart exhausted tall bored rich old, fat, hungry, thoughtful, young, lazy. Umeed hai ki in sab ka matlab aapko pata hai pehle se hi. Hai na? Beautiful. That's it. Hum keh sakte hai. Rashi is beautiful. Heavy. The bag is very heavy. Farhan is very smart. I feel exhausted. Ladli is very tall and beautiful. I feel so bored in the lockdown and oh no nobody is rich now in the lockdown period because there is no work and no money okay so likewise you can understand the other words also and you can try to make their sentences okay an adjective gives more information about a noun or pronoun by answering one of these questions. That means it tells you more about a noun or a pronoun. How it tells you more? It may tell about that we have already discussed. It may tell about the uh, what kind of object it is. What kind of noun or pronoun it is. Like you can see I have a blue car. The rope is very long. The person is so tall. I have a big and beautiful house. It can also tell you, tell you about which one this town or that town last week this week or that week that day or today or yesterday or tomorrow for example you can see the second day the other for men it can also tell about the number or the quantity like one second three boys few car or several people i hope you understood Okay, let's see the type of adjectives. Already you have studied about the type of nouns and types of pronouns. Now it is the turn to study type of adjectives. This is this class is more suitable for class 3, 4 and 5 specially and it can be beneficial to class 1 and 2 also. But for class 1 and 2, the previous slides are uh, okay, that much is sufficient. But for higher classes, you need to learn the type of adjectives also. Okay, so type of ad adjectives, we have adjective of quality, adjective of quantity, adjective of number, interrogative adjective, demonstrative adjective and exclamatory adjective. Let's understand them one by one. As you can see, the qualities, adjective of qualities that tells you about the quality of the noun as you can see this girl is young happy and brunette okay 
so you can very well understand that these are the words that are qualifying this particular noun this is the say, the words are telling you about the quality of this person it can be the man is handsome the man is tall he has a he has black hairs he has a pointed nose so pointed it is telling about the quality of the nose that the man has okay so it will tell you about qualities you can see more examples adjective of quality an adjective which is used in the sentence to express the size shape color thing uh, uh, of a person or a thing animal or any place like you can see in the example the the red underlined words are the adjective as you can see i went to a beautiful park how was the beautiful how was the park the park was beautiful and ate an amazing picnic lunch with jan so how was the lunch the lunch was amazing it was very yummy and delicious right okay now let's talk about the other type of adjective which is quantity adjectives which tells you about the quantity how much it will not tell you the exact number but it will tell you it will give some idea like some many all most substantial whole ummeed hai ki inka matlab aapko samajh mein aaya hoga some yani kuch many yani ki bahut sare all yani sare ke sare most yani kafi sare substantial yani isme se kuch एंड होल यानी सारे तो अब ये सारे कौन हैं कितने हैं मैनी कितने हैं ऑल कितने हैं ये हमें एग्जैक्टली exactly नहीं पता है बट वी हैव एन आइडिया अबाउट द नंबर नाउ वी आर मूविंग एंड अंडरस्टैंडिंग मोर अबाउट एडजेक्टिव ऑफ क्वांटिटी सो दीज आर सम मोर एग्जांपल्स यू हैव टू राइट इट डाउन इन योर नोटबुक एंड शो मी टूडे इट्स बाई इवनिंग whole enough little all hundred empty a little bit plenty of enough great insufficient each heavy huge several many and so many so you can read them and understand that these are adjectives of quantity moving to the third adjective that is adjective of number they are adjectives used to denote number of nouns or pronouns how many actually including their position it can also tell you about the position like first second third fourth or like that it shows the exact number of nouns or pronouns with their position or place it is used with countable nouns kis ke sath hum use karte hain jahan pe hum noun ko count kar sakte hain theek hai jab humne wahan pehle baat ki क्वांटिटी uh, की बात तो हम वहाँ पे हम नाउन्स को काउंट नहीं कर सकते थे वो ज़्यादा थे या बहुत ज़्यादा थे लेकिन यहाँ पे दे आर यूज विद काउंटेबल नाउन्स फॉर एग्जांपल देर आर टेन स्टूडेंट्स इन द क्लास सम मोर एग्जांपल्स द ब्रिलियंट वन ऑफ यू कैन बी लीडर ऑफ द ग्रुप द वन हु इज वेरी टैलेंटेड और ब्रिलियंट कैन बी द लीडर Two children make a family perfect. Few dogs are unhealthy. My legs have eight fingers and two toes. Some women are upset. Most of the boys are selected for cricket. Now coming to interrogative adjective. So what are the interrogative adjectives? What, which and whose? What are the interrogative adjectives? What which and whose dear children you have already studied about pro, uh, the interrogative pronouns now this is interrogative adjectives Inter interrogative is always related to asking question aapne suna hoga na interrogation ke liye police unko lekar ke gayi hai तो ये इंटेरोगेशन क्या होता है इंटेरोगेशन यानी कि सवाल पूछना तो इंटेरोगेटिव यानी हमेशा सवाल ही होने वाले हैं 
आपने प्रोनाउन में भी देखा कि वॉट विच हुज वहाँ पे भी था अब आप देख रहे हैं कि एडजेक्टिव में भी है थोड़ा सा डिफरेंस है इसके साथ याद रखिएगा इंटेरोगेटिव प्रोनाउन वो होते हैं जिनके बाद में एग्जैक्टली exactly, यानी कि वो सवालों के बाद में हेल्पिंग वर्ड लगता है जैसे वॉट इज योर नेम विच इज योर पेन हुज इज दिस पेन राइट लेकिन इंटेरोगेटिव एडजेक्टिव वो होते हैं जिसके जस्ट बाद में कोई ना कोई नाउन लगता है या फिर प्रोनाउन लगता है ठीक है जैसे विच पेन इज योर्स हुज पेन इज दिस वॉट क्वेश्चन डिड द टीचर आस्क सो इट इज लाइक दैट Now coming to the demonstrative adjectives, you have already read about the demonstrative pronouns also. This, these, that, those. So remember, dear students, when we are talking about singular object or singular noun, we use this and that. This for an object or a noun which is very near to us, and that for an object which is far away. Talking about the plural nouns. or plural objects then we use these if the things are near to us and those if the things are far away some more examples are there you can go through the slide and read it properly okay I'm talking about exclamatory sentences or exclamatory adjectives exclamatory sentences you already know exclamation that means vismay bodhak chinn that shows strong feeling feeling of excitement feeling of anger feeling of happiness feeling of love feeling of sadness it can be anything you can see some exclamatory sentences that expresses strong feelings you look so good oh so cute maro of the cake is delicious wow we won the match hurra so on you can see some examples i'm free i treasure you she actually won you're late again so uh, you saw that these are the sentences that expresses strong feelings so this was all about adjectives dear students i hope you enjoyed the class go through your adjective from the book also and from the slides also and try to understand them if you are not able to understand you can go to the comment section and ask your questions i will be there with the answers by the time study hard and enjoy yourself take care bye bye